All right. My poet is Okot Batek, born 1931, died in 1982. Uh, he was a Ugandan poet, novelist, and a social anthropologist. Um, his most three most famous uh, writings are the Song of Laino, Song of Oko, and the two songs. Uh, and he is best known for attempting to bring African forms of writing to a non-European traditions. Um, what critics thought of him, um, his poetry, uh, he was a major impact on your non-European traditions, bringing African forms um, to a, one of the most bold challenges in society. Um, they said, and they said he can stand with elevation of others. Um, and they said his pieces were to show positivity being translated. And one of his translations was, Black men be proud of African traditions and don't abandon them for white men. So that's what critics said about him. Um, the song, the song called La Ino, uh, was talking about a African woman who protests her husband because he started uh, picking up more European culture, um, like just reading books and stuff like that, and being college educated, and she was not. And so she rejected him and rejected him being a man and took that away from him and things like that because of him learning and reading because that was thought of being very European. So like I said earlier, um, how she just rejected his ideas and things like that because he was educated and trying to education, educate himself, and that's what the poem was about. And so another poem is the horn of my love and i'm going to read it where it where has my love blown his horn the tune of his horn is well known young men of my clan have you heard of the horn of my love the long distance has ruined me oh the distance of me and my companion use of my clan have you heard of the horn of my love the shortage of cattle has ruined my man the poverty of my life, you men of my clan, listen to the horn of my love. Where has my love blown his horn? The tune of his horn is well known. Young men of my clan, listen to the horn of my love. So the poem is about uh, the narrator lost her boyfriend who lives far away. And her effort to locate him, she's asking all her clan members to look for him and find him. She blames the lack of livestock and poverty for separating her from her love and spoiling her man. So, class questions. What similarities do you see in both of these poems? And what can you learn from the writings of Occult Tech?